I've had the pleasure and the privilege of representing Great Britain 144 times over the last 17 years. Um, in that time, I scored 128 goals. Um, I participated most recently in the Paralympics in London, where I managed to grab another couple of goals to get it up to that tally, uh, which was an amazing experience. Um, and also over my career, I've managed to amass five European golden boots as well. So. Um, really enjoyable career, met some fantastic people, travelled the world and um, hopefully we've taken uh, blind football forward as a result of our latest efforts to something that's going to be full-time sport through to 2016 and beyond. Yes, Alan can't be here today because he's actually teaching, So, um, but he's a really remarkable young man. Uh, he did uh, some volu voluntary work or work experience at uh, St Luke's School, which is a, a school for people with moderate learning difficulties, when he was 12, uh, and then returned to the school as a volunteer, so he really got involved, um, and then extended that sort of interest in people with difficult circumstances a bit further uh, by working at FAB, which is a club for physically impaired children. He went off to university and while he was at university he was told that the chairman of FAB uh, wished to retire. So at age 18, Alan took on responsibility uh, for FAB as the chairman, has held the position ever since, he's only 25 now, um, and he was responsible for uh, raising funds, for, particularly for trips, um, all completely voluntary and his uh, and. and while he's been doing that, he's raised some £40,000 for FAB. I, I have this ability, I can give it a go at least, and I know that people support me, whatever. So in June I, I completed a, a triple Ironman, which uh, I think there's maybe only 30 people in the country have ever done. Only four did it this year. A triple Ironman is a 7.2 mile swim, which is about 460 lengths of a swimming pool. And then having completed that, I then get on a bike and I, I cycle for 336 miles, which is um, the equivalent of going from probably here to Lockerbie, I think, somewhere like that. And then I got off the bike and I ran a triple marathon, so I ran 78 miles. It was a, a very strange and at times very difficult thing, but I, I, I guess it was something that's a bit out there, which I think uh, it was worth doing to help. He has just become involved so intensely in this and done so much. Um, he's made a career out of it, but it started very much from the from a volunteering perspective. So I just think he's an outstanding young man who's done wonderful things in the district. My first message would be to say thank you. Thank you for all the incredible uh, effort that goes into the St Albans uh, economy, the St Albans business community from the chamber. I think it's a, it's a, a massive force of good within our local community and uh, there's so many excellent uh, programs and information sources and um, events that are organised. It's, uh, it's a real pleasure to be associated with the Chamber. Um, so, you know, please keep doing what you're doing because, um, you know, it's absolutely fantastic and making a real difference to St Albans. To do something you love or do something to challenge yourself that you, you've always thought, I'd like to give it a go but I, I'm scared or you know, I, I need a, an impetus and something that is special to you and go that when you work in a hospice you realise that actually time is really precious and life is an amazing thing and there are so many opportunities and if it's something you really want to do just because I work in a hospice I'd advise you give it a go you don't have to finish it but give it a go don't look back and think I wish I tried that that's been the thing that's motivated me